What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to classify triangles using sides and angles, right? So let's start with sides. So there's basically three different ways we can classify a triangle using its sides. So let's start with this one right here. So one thing you can notice on this triangle is, well, this side is five inches, this side on the bottom is six inches, and this side over here is four inches, right? So you can see that they're all different lengths, okay? So if you ever have a triangle where all the lengths are different, that's called a scalene, scalene triangle, okay? So when all the sides are different lengths, it's a scalene triangle. Now here, you can see that two of the lengths are the exact same, right? So this length and this length of this triangle are both 12 feet long. So if you ever have a triangle that has two sides that are the exact same length, that's called an isosceles, yeah, there we go, isosceles triangle, all right? And another way that you might see that uh, two sides are the same is you might see two little marks through them like that, okay? So these little marks just tell you that these two sides right here are congruent. And congruent just means same, okay? So it's just telling you that these two sides are the exact same, all right? And then the last way that we can classify a triangle using the sides is if all the sides are the exact same length, okay? So you can see all the sides over here are six centimeters, right? So if they're all the same length, that's called an equilateral, equilateral triangle. And another way that you might see this triangle marked up is similar to this one, okay? So you might see them all have a little line running through the sides like that, which again is just telling you that all the sides of this triangle are the exact same length, right? They're all congruent, okay? So that's how you can identify them by their sides, but we can also identify them using angles, all right? So let's start with this one over here. So as you can see, we have three angles, right? 69 degrees, 48 degrees, and 63 degrees, all right? So something that you might notice is that these, all these angles are less than 90 degrees, okay? And an angle that is less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. So if you have a triangle where all the angles are less than 90 degrees, that's called an acute triangle, okay? So again, it's just a triangle where all the angles are less than 90 degrees. All right, next we have this triangle right here, which there's always gonna be this dead giveaway with this little symbol right here which just means we have a right angle right here, also known as a 90 degree angle. Okay, so if you have a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, that's called a right triangle, right? That was not too bad, right? So now let's go to this one over here. So as you can see, we have two little angles, right? 19 degrees, 19 degrees, and then we have one big angle right here, 142 degrees, right? So remember, an angle that is bigger than 90 is called an obtuse angle, all right? So if you ever have a triangle that has an angle that is bigger than 90 degrees, again, that's called an obtuse triangle, all right? And then lastly, here we have a triangle where you can see all the angles are the exact same, okay? And whenever you have angles that are the same, you can put little arcs like that, okay? And then this just shows that they are congruent, okay? So a triangle that has three congruent angles is also called an equilateral triangle, which makes sense, right? Because this angle or this triangle down here is the exact same as this triangle up here. I just kind of rotated it downward, but luckily they're kind of easy to identify, right? Because if all the sides are the exact same or if all the angles are the exact same, in either case, it's just called an equilateral triangle. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.